guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. Today, we're going to be taking another look at the 2016 Mattel Classics Ghostbusters toy line with Ray Stans. Ray Stans, of course, was portrayed by Dan Aykroyd, who co-wrote the script for Ghostbusters. And actually, originally created it alongside John, John Belushi. However, he passed away, and so they based Slimer, the hotel ghost, on John Belushi. All right, so let's take a look at Ray here. Uh, first things first, I want to check something out real quick, because his feet look a little bit bigger than Egon's did. So let me grab Egon here real quick, and we'll compare the two. Last time we did take a look at Egon. You know what, I'm going to turn the light on on this. Bear with me for a minute, guys. Yeah, they are about the same size. Um, I don't know, it just it looked to me like they were a different sculpt. Because, of course... Ray is a bigger guy than Egon. Maybe not taller, but bigger. So he he would, it would make sense that he would need a bigger foot. But we'll go ahead and put Egon back real quick. All right, so now on to Ray. Um, at a distance, I think he's a very good likeness of Dan Aykroyd. However, up close... up close it's not really that great of a likeness it, it he just doesn't really look that much like Dan Aykroyd which you'd think it'd be easy to make it a lot easier to make him look like Dan Aykroyd than say it would be to make uh, the Egon character look like Harold Ramis. Uh, but for some reason, they just weren't able to get it that great. So anyway, let's go ahead and take, ooh, take the neutrino wand out of his hands. As I've said in previous reviews, guys, uh, I don't play, I don't mess around with these guys much at all. As soon as I get them, take them out of the box, I look at them briefly, and then they go up on my shelf. The neutrino wand does peg into the uh, side of the pack, just like so. Take it off. It pegs right there. See, there's a little slot on the back of the neutrino wand. It just pegs in there. I do wish they would have maybe put that red wire on another side of the uh, neutrino wand because it doesn't really sit that great on the uh, pack itself because of that wire. So let's go ahead and take this off. In order to take this off, as with the previous reviews, I have to kind of straighten his arms out as much as possible and slide them backwards. This is always kind of a difficult part to do because it does like to get hung up. There we go. Alright, now as I stated with the Egon figure, it does appear that the packs themselves came from a previous toy line. Copyright 2011. 
so it does appear that Mattel just reused some older proton packs. Still not bad. Very good likeness of the proton pack. Uh, it's got the four red lights here as well as the bar. Uh, those four red lights in the video games, they are pistons. Whenever the pack overheats, using it too much, those four lights pop out as pistons. And you have to stop, stop blasting, stop busting ghosts briefly. Let it recharge, and cool down. And then the, uh, then they go back in. But overall, a really good likeness. I really like it. So let's move on to Ray here. All right. So as with the other Ghostbusters in the line, Ray's head is on a ball joint, and he actually moves his head moves around a lot more than. Egon's and Peter's uh, it actually kind of feels like it's just sitting freely in there really better not chance it <laughs> but yeah it, it looks like it's just kind of sitting freely in there uh, but it's nice that he has more articulation in his head than Peter and Egon do very nice. The, hind the collar doesn't really hinder it that much. Uh, his arms. Ooh, ah, this part's rough. Because, like I said, they go up on my shelf. I don't really mess with them a whole lot. They're just collectibles to me. So his arm can go up to there. Ooh, rotate all the way around. And his arm, his elbow, can straighten out that much. That's it. Which I don't really care for. It does seem to straighten out a lot more than uh, Peter and Egon, though. I don't know if that's because of the uh, hinge. Maybe it's a little, little bit looser. Um, still, I wish... I wish... They would have put the joint inside the uh, elbow pad rather than underneath it. You do have wrist articulation, which this one seems to be gummed up. There we go. Gotta loosen it up a bit. I'm trying not to break it. Turn all the way around. That's the same for both hands. You got waist articulation here. You got the leg can go up. This, as with all the others, this little part of his uh, belt does get in the way because it hits the hose. And I, as I said before, I think that hose is like a breather for the jumpsuits. It's never really clarified what the hose is for, but I would imagine it is a breather. Allow the uh, body to get some air because they do wear long johns underneath their jumpsuits. You know, as we see in Ghostbusters 2, it can get pretty hot. So they need airflow coming in through there. Uh, his legs go out to there and go back that far, not far at all. Uh, he's got thigh swivel. He got knee swivel or knee rocker, knee joint, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, you got boot articulation at the uh, calf and then you've got the ankle rocker which the ankle rockers do work a lot a lot more than 
say Peter's because they have their pants tucked into their boots, whereas Peter has his hanging freely. Overall, not bad. I, As I said, the my only gripes with these figures is I wish they would have put the joint on the outside of the uh, elbow pads. And with this one, they could have did a better job of sculpting Ray. Now let's go ahead and put his pack back on him so I can show you guys how to do that. Let's bring his arms all the way back. And they do like to get hung up, so be very, very careful. Trino wand. Go ahead and put this hand first. I was trying to get see the finger grooves there. I was trying to get them lined up so that it'd be off on the right side. But this wire, the cable here for it wasn't really wanting to allow me to do that. So there you have it guys. The 2016 Mattel Classics Ghostbusters line. Ray stands. I'll see you next time guys when I take a look at the 2016 Mattel Classics Ghostbusters line. Winston Zetamore. I'm Shannon for Comic TV.